We can go home. Yeah, all of a sudden she said the biggest taboo in MasterChef. I I can go home. I, I look at her. Oh my goodness, you can. You either say I might go home. You yeah, don't say I I'm can trying go to home. Say, I'm trying to say I might go home. You'll be cooking my kiwi style bouillabaisse base of confit vanilla aura king salmon, scampi broth, and exo braised mussels, scampi, tio point oysters, and cloudy bay clams. And that is served with kina rui and croutons. Sound easy? At this stage, I was thinking that, oh my god, it's scampi. I am really allergies to crustaceans, and I might get allergy reactions just by touching them. It could kill me because it's an anaphylactic allergy. I've peeled and deheated the scampi, so I've put those in to fry them off a bit, and then I add in all the vegetables, the fennel, the shallots, and that starts cooking off. And that's actually starting to smell really good. I'd put that salmon in the fridge and get the chilli sauce happening, otherwise it's not going to be cooked. Yeah. How do you hit it? Wow. You guys have got a scampi stock to make, right? That's the thing that's going to give this dish flavour. So don't leave the goddamn shells sitting on your bench. Start cooking them. Be quick with this chilli sauce already. They're late. We kind of have like, a little bit of argument because my sister keep on pressuring. No, oh, where's the chilli? Put it on, put it on! Because everyone is already have the chilli blend and everything on. She's still there. I have no idea what she's doing with a salmon. I'm so annoyed at, at that point. Top 10 is the next stop. Work hard and make sure you don't miss out. Get moving. Bossy yeah, breakfast. <laughs> it smells good, doesn't it? Okay, so I finally sliced the spring onion. Carrie, okay, there's no shallot in this XO sauce. We are quite familiar with XO sauce. Then when we look into the recipe and think it's a completely different XO sauce to what we used, used to have. How come the recipe does not have shallots on the XO sauce? Because we are used to making XO sauce right. but with shallot. Like, there's more than one way to skin a yeah, cat, maybe. It's a terrible recipe. It's a terrible recipe. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it is a terrible recipe. Hopefully, <laughs> Daniel will forgive me for saying that because I'm under the pressures of the kitchen. The challenge today is to recreate the kiwi bully base and kinarui with croutons in 90 minutes. Mel? What? I'm very sorry, but I don't know where... What, what the hell is... Right here! Simon, this is a pretty complex dish. What's going on out there? Well, right, there's some ticking bombs out there and they're ticking loud. Yeah. Do we have any more bread? Yeah, the croutons. Took my eye off them for a couple of minutes. Whose are these? Uh, I don't know, man. I can sell them now. These are... James? Managed to salvage uh, what, four of them, I think. This is a different colour to mine. Yeah, yeah, maybe yours is better. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with... Look... No, no, yours is fine. Yeah. Is it mine? Yeah, yeah. it's a little bit dark. Yeah, yeah. mine is a bit burnt. Is it? Yeah. Daniel thinks it's burnt, but I don't think it's burnt. No! <laughs> Gonna be touch and go. Daniel, I've just seen Kerry and Mel out there. They've burnt their XO sauce. But it's not majorly burnt. Yeah. I reckon it's touch and go for them. But pretty terminal with Elizabeth and Jen. I mean, just pouring all the ingredients for your Rui. Yeah. I think they're in deep trouble. Yeah. 30 seconds, yeah? With seafood, you definitely have to go on what it looks like and things. But they need to be just popped open if you're adding them back into the heat because they can overcook in an instant. I think getting the seafood cooked right is going to be the make or break if you're going to be in the bottom or not. I think that guy's just not meant to... <laughs> he doesn't want to he's not open. playing the game. No, he's not playing the game. He's yeah. out of the game. Presentation, presentation, everyone. One minute, everybody. Come on, one minute. Let's get it up. Display slide. I pick up the vinegar bottle to sprinkle the crostini with oil. But it was vinegar. Wow. vinegar. Lucky we had out the crostini. 30 seconds, everybody! Reserve olive oil. A little bit of olive oil. Right here. Jen's done a great job at rescuing the Rui, and the Christinis on the side look really lovely. Oh, 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 enough, enough, enough. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want a bit more EXO oil? Ten seconds! Five, four, three, two, one. Hands up! 
step away from your bed. Woo. It looks good. I think it tastes good too, but it doesn't look like what's Daniel's dish like. So walking into the judges today with our plates in hand, you never know what to feel. The judges just have that blank poker face on in front of you. We don't know what to expect. How did that go? I think we went okay in the kitchen today. Okay, so any difficulties during the challenge? Opening the scampi. <laughs> Would you like to sit down and eat this? Definitely. Love to. I'll leave us the taste. Thank you. The broth looks inviting and colourful and it smells like it's going to taste wonderful. I love it. For me, this is the best of New Zealand in a bowl. That is cooked absolutely perfectly. That salmon just melts in your mouth. It really is just exceptional. The flavours are really, really bright. It, I mean, it's almost refreshing, the whole thing. Overall, I think it's an outstanding effort from the girls. Absolutely. I mean, they've really captured the essence of what the dish is about. Unfortunately, I did find a bit of bloodline on my salmon. Some grey on there, which, you know, just from a presentation point of view. But other than that, absolutely knockout. I'm feeling a little nervous. It can't get any worse than being in the top 11 and being sent home. But I'm hoping that the flavours will carry through. Yeah. Elizabeth, another roller coaster ride in the kitchen. Yes. How do you feel about your Rui? I'm happy with how it tastes. It's just not as thick as it should be. Elizabeth, do you know how to make a mayonnaise? Yes. How did you let this happen? You know, what happened to the communication? What happened to reading the recipe? What happened to working as a team? I trusted that Jen was following the recipe and that she had it under control. You, you've got a major problem here. You know, you heard him talk about the wobble. Yep. There's no wobble going on here. Elizabeth, this means an awful lot to you, doesn't it? It does. This, this means the world to me. I really want to make it to the top ten. We both do. I'm worried about this today. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless, really. It kind of just tastes like a bowl of dishwashing water. The Rui tastes like olive oil. This isn't a Rui, it's a ruin. It's just not even in the ballpark, that stuff. I want to understand, because there are components of this that show they can cook, but then there's the broth. These girls are in trouble, and they're, they're going to be absolutely devastated if they're the ones going home. Hey, you two, how did you enjoy Daniel's challenge? It's probably the most fun we've had so far. Daniel, what do you think of the look of it? It does maybe look a little bit dry, like there could be a little bit more broth. Thank you. All right, cool. thank Thanks. you. I have a huge problem with this dish. We've just been raving about all these other dishes, and now I'm trying to think of words that can rave even more about this, because I think it's sensational. That Rui is fantastic. The croutons are perfect. The degree of cooking on my scampi is just phenomenal. It just tastes so good. Uh, I really like it. Yeah, I totally agree with you, but I want a twice that broth. Yeah. So what do you think about your dish? Do you think it's good enough to get you through to the top 10? We can go home. Yeah, all of a sudden, if she set the biggest taboo in MasterChef, I, I can go home. I, I look at her, oh my goodness, you can. You either say, I might go home. You yeah, don't say, I can go home. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say, I might go home. I think it's good enough to go to the top 10. You want to go home, Melanie? I want to stay in the kitchen, but Seems like we put up really bad dish today, so... No, I'm proud what's of wrong, What's wrong with it, Melanie? My ex is so is burnt. I don't think it's burnt. That's why we have a lot of argument throughout, so... Does it taste good? It tastes a bit different to what we normally have, though. Yeah. Do you think your one's better than Daniel's? Uh... <laughs> ours have more yeah. fragrance. Yeah, because we are taught by a Hong Kong auntie. Yeah. yeah. Should we have a taste, guys? Let's do it. It's slightly different from yours. It's kind of a more gutsy version. Yeah. I found it just a touch too salty for me. They're a nightmare in the kitchen together. They argue their way through it as if it's a battle, but they put up a dish with 
all the seafood being perfectly cooked and a near perfect broth and a great rui. I think they've done a really good job.